alaikum. Today we're going to do a problem with necklines. Uh, this is a ready-made dress. It's a friend of mine's dress. Uh, my visitor over from America, my dear friend, Sisla Sakina, is her dress. And what she's basically done is when she's done the neck, she's made it too small and uh, it's becoming lifting up and catching too close to the neck itself. So uh, once the garment is sewn, it's quite difficult to fix problems. Uh, we're going to try and work the best. Sometimes, Okay, not that much noise, okay? Everybody be quiet. Sometimes the problems we face when we're trying to fix necklines like this is that they're difficult to get into, especially if the dress is a narrow fitting dress. So the best thing to do in circumstances like that is to open up the side seam on one of the sides so that you've got more room to get into the dress and fix it. And once the neckline is finished, then you can go back to finishing that seam line off. Now this dress is quite wide so I think we're going to suffice without doing that but uh, she's already worked out what she wants to do and we're just going to do a quick solution on this. Um, the original neckline what we're going to do is we're not going to bother doing anything with that we're just going to slightly widen it up and just uh, perhaps overlook around the edges of it so that it's not fraying and then this particular neckline we're going to finish it all off and uh, the way we're going to do that is we're going to do the piping around the outside and piping around the inside and once the piping is attached we're going to pin it into place on areas of the dress where it's central and then once it's pinned we're just going to seam on the outer sides and once that's attached we're going to attach it back on the shoulders and hopefully that should be it perhaps finish it off with a couple of buttons there there is just a, still a little bit of a concern with this uh, and that is that I feel that the neckline is just a little bit, um, the neck itself is just a little small and it's a little short. So by the time we've done all the sewing, this will still be slightly short. So what we're gonna do is if we bring this neckline down, what I might do is add just a slight bit of um, more of a detail just on the top perhaps using the fabric that we're going to create the piping with so we're going to lengthen that slightly and then just slightly cut it just a little bit deeper because that neckline in itself will be a little bit too close to uh too close going around the neck, the neck itself is going to be a little bit just a little bit too close so when you're working out your neckline what you've got to figure out is you know for a very slim person with a very slender neckline this kind of neck would be fine if you're a slightly larger size looking at the dress we can obviously tell that it's a larger size then we need this bit just a little bit wider as well so we're going to cut slightly more into this and we're going to slightly lengthen it so the length of this should be about um, seven and a half eight inches okay and uh, yeah we're going to do that uh, i'm going to show you how to do the piping around it and we're going to use simple methods okay uh, so the two things that we need to do is first of all we need to add a little bit of an attachment to the top so we're just using what we can do is um, any color that looks adequate you can use uh, a similar fabric have you got a bike you can use a, a contrasting color fabric or you can use lace around the outside or you can use a piping so what would you like to do shall we just go for piping you just go with whatever you think would work the best okay. i was doing it totally blind <laughs> obviously <laughs> No, um, with sometimes you need to work out things in advance and take note of things like this because you don't want to end up finish the garment and then you try it on and yeah. then it's uh, the fault is there, still the fault is there and then you're having to unpick and fix it all again yeah. and what happens in circumstances like that is you become infuriated and you get very cross and short tempered and you think I've just wasted this much time and you get to the state and this is talking from personal experience where you're so frustrated that you pick up the garment and you just chuck it to a corner so I'm sure that's happened with many of you <laughs> I was in a hurry getting ready to come over here and uh, I knew that I shouldn't try to tackle it before I came over so I just tucked it in the suitcase and brought it with me Okay. 
Well, it's given us a chance. I didn't to... have time to worry with it. <laughs> it's given us a chance to um, work on it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to attach this to like both of the sides. Just narrow it down. It's better to have more than less when you work things out like this because you know more you can always uh, chop it down and if you make it less then you're having to add pieces mm, so if this neckline this pre-cut was a lot bigger we could have cut it to size but being cut small means but this could be a number of reasons maybe you ha you don't have enough fabric or you know you're working shortage of fabric and so on okay so we're just going to attach this perhaps i mean this will uh, like contrast it off a little bit and then we're just going to widen this slightly and we're going to finish off this with the piping finish the outer side with the piping once this is all completely finished we're going to attach it onto the dress <laughs> 